Next Generation GTA 5 and Grand Theft Auto Online on the PS5 and Xbox Series X and S has actually given us some pretty cool features and now allows us to do some pretty interesting things that you might not have known about and that are also not really included in the patch notes and the Newswire post that Rockstar put out. And I want to highlight a couple of those things that I've seen today that the GTA community has ended up doing. And this is just incredible. Some of the things we're going to be looking at today. And also kind of funny to see some of the things that are still going on in GTA Online. So obviously one of the big selling points of next generation GTA 5 was the HSW vehicles and the performance upgrades that they were going to have, how fast the new cars can go. These new vehicles are absolutely insane. They are by far and away the quickest vehicles in the game. In fact, the vehicles are actually so fast now that you can actually jump straight over Fort Zancudo. Without any mods, without any vehicles that have any rocket boosters or anything like that, you can just straight up jump over the entirety of Fort Zancudo. Check out this clip right here. I thought as he was getting closer and closer, he wasn't going to end up making it. And that was with the Karen S95. I'm sure you could even try it with a handful of the other cars like the Coil Cyclone 2. It was so close. He still got the four stars, which is impressive. It kind of would have been fun if Rockstar like immediately took away the four stars if you ended up making it over the fence. And you only had it when you were suspended over the air where the actual fence ends. That would have been awesome. So I just think that's incredible because I remember I have tried that jump several times and you always end up in Fort Zancudo no matter how fast your vehicle is. So I thought that was pretty cool. Another thing that's kind of interesting since we now have 60 FPS on the consoles, one thing that it's actually done something pretty strange to is the Patriot tire smoke. Take a look at these two clips right here and you'll see what I'm talking about. So the way it was before, the Patriot tire smoke would take like one or two seconds before it would shift into each color. Now it's like a disco ball. It's instantaneously just going from blue to white to red and sort of pink. You can see it almost blending if you do it in slow motion. I don't know if this was intentional by Rockstar because they have made other intentional fixes by now having the consoles at 60 FPS versus 30 FPS, which is obviously what they were before. It kind of makes me wonder what other little changes like this are stuck here in the game and we just don't know about it because that wasn't listed anywhere on the patch notes or anything like that, that you, know, you would be able to have this really quick changing tire smoke. They didn't list anything like that at all. And it also makes you wonder if Rockstar are gonna continue to fix some of the bugs and glitches associated with the PS5 version because there's a handful, specifically with the cars at Hal's Special Works Auto Shop and even just trying to get a vehicle into an agency. It seems like there's a lot of little issues that Rockstar might have overlooked that hopefully they'll end up fixing soon. Take a look at these two clips right here. The one with the agency is hilarious just because he's trying to back it in and then all of a sudden you're getting like flipped upside down. 
The one at Hal Special Works Auto Shop, I don't know what was going on there. It, there was definitely a lot of people customizing their cars, so I wonder if that was the issue. In fact, I found that out the other day. I didn't know that you could actually see other people customizing their cars in real time, too. That's actually kind of neat. Speaking of fast cars, this might be the fastest Fagio of all time. There's actually a cool trick that you can do. As a motorcycle club leader or road captain, you have the ability to lead a riding formation for each of the members. And the riding formation follows the speed of the leader. So if they end up using the fastest bike, then all the slower bikes will keep up. So in this clip that you're about to see, an HSW upgraded Hakachu Drag pulled one of the slowest bikes in the game, the Fagio Mod. Take a look at this clip right here. So see what I mean? It's pretty impressive all the unsung things that players are able to do with these new versions of GTA 5 and the also issues that they're running into as well, which we'll take a look at in just a little bit. But man, that was weird to see the Fagio going so fast. That would honestly kind of freak me out a little bit. And last but not least today, I don't know what's going on at the Vanilla Unicorn Club on PS5 and Xbox Series X and S, but... It looks like the dancers there are having to arm themselves for some chaos. Is This one actually has a knife just strolling down the street in front of the vanilla unicorn. She's just got a combat knife in her hand. I thought that was wild and wasn't afraid to use it and then started going after one of the other dudes. I don't know what was going on. That was so bizarre, though. It can't be a mod. It can't be something like that. It was like she was a mugger or like a secret agent or something like that. I legitimately don't know what was going on, but that was absolutely hilarious to witness. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed looking at these clips as much as I did. These were all posted over the last couple of days on the GTA Online subreddit and players' experiences with the new PS5 and Xbox Series X and S versions. What has been the most unsung thing that you've discovered you've been able to do on the new versions of GTA 5? Let me know in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there, or you can reach out to me on my Facebook page where you can send photos, messages, videos, and a whole lot more. If you guys did go and enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.